What's happening people? It's your girl VZV Makena and welcome back to VZ's channel. But it is a pretty and surprising smash hit. The show has taken the wheel by storm and even after watching it several times since its release, we come across so many hidden hints that make it even better. Without further ado, let's dive into our video. The show which Netflix chief Ted Sarandos has said is on track to become Netflix's most watched series ever has dominated charts the world over serving as a striking proof positive of the streamer's global strategy. And while it's cheering that quite so many people are curious about a project that they are watching with subtitles or dubbed, little feels novel about people flocking to a project that allows them to have it both ways. The opening of Squid Game may be confusing that scene starts with kids playing a certain game, where their combo and the rules are explained, these kids are Gihan and Sangu. Squid Game depicts a competition with some 456 entrants, in which boundless wealth is made available to whoever survives a brutal gauntlet of fatal events. These stages are borrowed from children's playground activities, lending a certain simple irony to just how brutal they become. More than half of the competitors are gunned down, for instance, in the first stage, a version of red light, green light, in which those who move after red light are gunned down. This is more than half the competition, some 200 plus people shot down, and Squid Game is hardly shy about showing this error. The violence is at once eerily intimate and impersonal, while there, there is a brutal frankness to the way the competitors' lives are cut short, the shooters are masked game employees or in the case of red light, green light, a robotic doll. Every member of the Squid Game cast of main characters loosely represents a slice of modern society. As the series runs on, it becomes clear that the Squid Game exists for many reasons, including for the harvesting of human organs from the killed and to provide amusement for a chattering class of wealthy people, some of them depicted as white westerners who bet on the results. So, who are the main players of Squid Game's cast? What are the backstories and why are they in the game? And of course, where have you seen the actors who make up Squid Game's cast of players before? We start with Gihan. The lead of Squid Game's cast is protagonist Gihan, a divorced persistent gambler who needs money in order to gain custody of his daughter. After finding out that his mother has diabetes and needs surgery, Gihan has even more reason to join and win the games. Gihan's Squid Game character is not entirely unlike Adam Sandler's Howard Ratner from Uncut Gems. The model turn actor Lee Jang Jae, who plays Gihan, was also in the 2013 historical drama The First Reader, as Grand Prince Suyang, as well as 2002 Mayor, which inspired the Lake House. <laughs> Sang Woo. Gihan's childhood friend Sang Woo is the local neighborhood success story. After graduating from a prestigious university and making the right business investments, Sang Woo gets caught stealing money from his clients and is on the run from the police. As one of the smarter players among the cast of Squid Game characters, Sang Woo's quick thinking and knowledge of children's games gives him an edge over other players and makes him a useful ally to Gihan. The actor Park Heso is most famous for his daring role in 2017's prison playbook. He's
The oldest Squid Game player is O Inam for whom Gihan feels some responsibility. However, old man Inam is not as helpless as he seems. The veteran actor O Young So is known mostly for playing monk roles in two or three A Little Monk and Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter and Spring. Other characters include Abdul Ali, Jan Ho and others. <laughs> One of the best revealed towards the end of the series is Inam, who was client 001 and who was the father figure of Gihan, is actually the architect of the whole game. Who saw this coming? I never saw that coming too. I know some of you could have predicted this but personally, I didn't. If you did, leave a comment down below in the comment section. We learned that Inam was simply bored and needed entertainment. Wow, that's insanity on another level. Some of us, when we need entertainment, we tune to our favorite shows. But rather, Inam could have es escaped to the space and have fun in a different way. He even took part in the entire game to a point we all thought he died when he lost to Gihan the last game he participated in. At the end, we see Inam and Gihan playing a game to see if humanity will win which, thank God, it turned out to be. After this, Gihan decided to go on revenge tour and dyes his hair red, implying that he will never go back to his old self and as a sign of his rage and anger as explained by the director. At the end, we saw the game still continued playing even after Gihan had won the first time. The game, of course, is a metaphor. In these nine episodes, dystopian drama rich and poor squid game players alike compete for the ultimate prize billions of Korean won, more than enough to pay off their debts and start anew. The players form alliances, betray each other and do whatever they need to survive and win. It has been nice breaking down this series for you and if you miss something, be sure to mention it.